hello my beautiful people i hope you all are doing well before we jump into today's video i just want to share something special with you guys first of all shout out to keen for sponsoring this portion of today's video if you do not know what keen is where have you been keen is the number one leader in providing readers and astrologers and it's very easy to start not only is it free to start but once you sign up you have access to hundreds of readers all online right now and there's literally little to no wait line because there's so many readers to choose from and yes although i do readings there's quite a wait time i do only have one pair of lips so whatever it is that you're looking to tap into if you want to know more about your romance life if you want to know about your career life if you want to know about your health if you want to get a better understanding of your birth chart because they do also have astrologers on there that can read your birth chart for you tell you what it means for you help you figure out what you need to be doing so you're not you know two steps forward one step back and because the turnaround time is so easy you really do get that instant gratification you get to choose your reader so whether you want to choose a reader based on their vibe you like their vibe or just based on your budget there really is something for you and and you can access them through text and you can access them through phone call which once again I didn't do because I'm too chicken but luckily for us Keen has extended a special offer for my collective first-time customers will get their first 10 minutes for $1.99 which is a savings of I think $100 $99 so if that is something you're interested in absolutely go to www.trykeen.com slash highly intuitive or go right into my description box it will be the first link right there hopefully you guys check it out because as I said I'm not gonna be able to give you that instant gratification girl or guy you're gonna have to wait some time to see me so if you're up at 3 a.m. and you want to find out some answers go ahead and check that out so Hopefully you guys check it out, take advantage of the offer, but without further ado, we're jumping into today's video. Cancer, welcome to your weekly general reading. This is going to be for the sign of Cancer. It's not going to resonate with all of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Cancer placement that you resonate with, there may be messages that also resonate. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen will all be linked and listed. At the end, we'll pull oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Otherwise, we're clearly ready to go. Two sixes here. First card out was the Queen of Swords. Air sign energy could be important to you. Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Heavy on the Aquarius. Could have that in your chart. Followed by Major Arcana, the Star card, Aquarius energy, the Six of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. Two more cards for Cancer, please. Two sixes could be could be a six could be relevant to you right now but it's kind of a, it's kind of the vibe going through the collective right now because because the collective is becoming so strong in their conviction it's um re it, it's showing me that the collective is growing they're becoming wiser they're becoming more discerning and they're becoming less afraid to let go of people you know the level of detachment or the, you know, it's it's becoming real good. There's a real good um, relationship that the collective is creating with themselves. I do think that you're the one coming up as this Queen of Swords here. I do think that there's someone that you've probably cut out of your life, probably a multitude of people, you know? So this is speaking to that. This is saying that your discernment is on point. You have no problem releasing negativity from yourself and from your energy and from your atmosphere, all of it. You know, you're willing to meet people where they're at. And if they're not resonating with um, what it is that you're seeking for yourself, then thank you next, right? In whatever aspect, whether it's work, whether it's relationships, whether it's friendships, house, you know, your body. It may, might be even becoming more easier to say no to the things that you crave, right? Because there's a certain quality that you want. To, to, to experience and you know you're not going to be able to get there if you're continuously ex accepting things that do not resonate with that quality that you're seeking so i do think you moved away from someone here you cut somebody out bottom of the deck is the five of wands definitely any sort of pettiness any sort of drama conflict competition you're not with it and anything that kind of brings this energy to you even if it's within yourself not necessarily externally you're you're going to cut it off you're going to cut it off I do see you moving away from someone here. I also feel like this is two different energies. The, this top row could be your energy. And this bottom row could be someone that you're dealing with or vice versa, however the story goes. But I do see whoever it is that you cut off, whoever it is that you X'd out, whoever was bringing this sort of energy into your personal space, mind, body, 
you've moved away and it looks like they want to move forward from it. it looks like they're having a very hard time with this this this, this decision that you have made head over heart heart head over heart decision here was made in the past and somebody wants to move on from that they kind of want to change your mind is the vibe that i'm getting they want to heal the star card is healing energy somebody wants to heal whatever caused you to make this decision could be that there was a lack of balance someone could have been giving to multiple things right probably weren't a priority so you, you, you told them to kick rocks quite literally you know your value you know your worth the empress card coming out here libra and um taurus energy could be important you know your value you know your worth and anything that's not up to the bar has to go we've been doing this long enough you know we're pros at it at this point the rest of the, the collective, though, you know, they're catching up. They're most likely learning through us and the examples and the way that we conduct ourselves. You know, it's annoying, but I mean, that's how it is for leaders. How, that's how it is for trendsetters or, you know, we got to do it first. And then it's like we're here waiting for everyone to catch up. Right. So I do see someone here that is very distraught. Uh, nine of swords ten of swords all the swords like very much stuck in their mind about this almost as like they can't believe that you have cut them off some of you could be parents but the empress you know whatever the empress touches turns to gold male or female very abundant individual and i think you're aware of that i think you're becoming more aware of uh the value that you bring to people's lives very giving person someone might have not been giving to you though Five of Wands, Six of Cups, Four of Wands, Page of uh, Cups. Somebody's definitely going to apologize and reach out. Kind of probably test the waters because the last time they dealt with you, you were in this Queen of Swords energy, which is not nice. She's prickly. So they're going to do a small gesture, kind of test the waters and maybe give you an apology here. They do want to reunite. Definitely this person's nervous to approach. <laughs> they haven't given up though. They haven't been given up the Wheel of Fortune here. They want a new prosperous cycle to begin. Two of Cups. Some of you, but this is love. This was absolutely a mutual connection. They did feel what you felt. But for whatever reason, it wasn't. Um, and that's the truth. See that? That's the truth. It was a mutual connection. They, they felt just as much as you felt. But for whatever reason, they were not uh, allowing that to be seen, most likely. Allowing that to be seen, most likely. But this is a true soul connection. You have the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups and the Four of Wands here. This person sees you as someone they could spend their life with if this is romantic. This is a friendship. This is someone that they do not want you to not be in their life. They feel very connected to you. Very fond of memories of you. Maybe kind of that's where they're stuck. In the fond memories. But I do see they want to move past the drama. They want to, oh, that came out. I know it's not easy, but you're not built to break. Clearly, that's a message that wanted to happen for you. Three of Cups, yeah, reunion wanted here. They're going to reach out. They're going to want to see you. They're going to want, you know, they want to fix things because it's, it's heavy. This is, I just heard, I can't live without you. Whatever aspect, this could be a best friend. Definitely could be with that Three of Cups energy. Could be a best friend. but Or someone that gives you best friend vibes. You guys have that type of connection. Guidance for Cancer, please. But there is healing that wants to happen. If you want it, I do get you're open to hear what this person has to say. And you will use your discernment as to whether or not you will nurture this again. That could also speak to that Empress. You will use your discernment as to whether or not you want to nurture this again. This person could possibly, if this is romantic... Possibly want to um, wife you up, you know what I'm saying? Hubby you up, move in together, take things to the next level type of thing. Spirit has a plan, number 35, which is an eight. And at the bottom of the deck is trust in divine detours. So it's like, however it's played out, it absolutely had to happen this way. It absolutely had to happen this way. This was a lesson for you. It's like the universe was testing you. Do you really want what you say you want? Do you really think you're worth what you say you're worth? Because it's like, this was clearly a very strong connection. And you it, it had to have been hard to cut this out. But at the end of the day, facts over feelings. You know what I'm saying? Facts over feelings. You've learned that lesson the hard way. And I think this is a, a level up for you, whether it's with this person or not. 
there's a level up here happening because you the universe is like yeah they do believe they're worth what they think they're worth the age of light you've been training for this for lifetimes see this is exactly what i was talking about the ever unfolding rose cracked open it's happening for you and not to you so this could have not happened any other way you know it couldn't have happened any other way because at least now you know that um not to say it's real but you now you know it's real it's kind of like that let it go if it comes back it's real if, if it don't then you know believe in the impossible don't let your past hold you back. Someone's getting out of their comfort zone. I think it's the person that you're dealing with. You could be the person that um, pissed somebody off. However the story goes. But there's definitely a piss off here that happened. And uh, someone's like, okay, you know what? I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. I will not do this. I am ex exercising my free will. And I'm not going to do this. Okay? Like, I'm just not. I don't even think you need one of these because you got one here. I will pull you another one out, but Libra also got that. You could be dealing with the Libra or have that in your chart. Let's get one more for Cancer, please. Yeah, you, you've come a long way. You are so strong in your conviction and you are so trusting of your intuition. That's what that's telling me. I know it's not easy, but you are not built to break. You know that if something is out of line for you, it's because there's something better. Whether it's the same thing that comes back upgraded to your vibration or it's something else completely new. But you trust in your value. You're one decision away from changing your life if you want to. So there will be a decision that needs to be made. You know, there is a decision that needs to be made. Believe in the impossible. All right, Cancer, that is your reading. I really do hope it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Leave me a comment. If it does, do not forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.